Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, Going Medieval was a game that was really big. Um, maybe about three months ago. Uh, it's currently the end of November now. But everybody was playing it, man. Everybody was going through it. And I did my best to not watch any of that. Um, it's on sale now with the Steam Summer Sale for 20 bucks. Uh, I went ahead and picked it up. This game, it looks like it's going to be very similar to RimWorld, the ye old RimWorld with three dimensions, which is something that desperately, you desperately need in games like RimWorld. Because um, the idea is that you're going to be attacked by bandits and raiders, and if you can go up like one or two levels and build archery towers to shoot down at people and to build like, like divots in the ground and then build your wall, like... Just some good stuff. Just some good stuff. But here we are. We're going to go ahead and start. <clears throat> uh, standard. Your settlement will experience enemy raids as well as environmental events. Raids occur at steady intervals. Their difficulty adapts to your progress. That sounds good to me. Standard. Normal. We got it. Each seller has a story about the past that they left far behind, but now this tattered group has a common goal to build a new home together. Recommended scenario for first time players lone wolf add a new okay we'll do this the starting season is spring we have 12 packaged meals right 400 wood some hay some cabbage uh don't know what that is probably medicine i don't know because there's a healing kit here hmm i'll have to click on that when we get in there i don't know what that is so we have a spear, a short sword, a short bow, a long bow, a buckler, and a gibbison. We have a goat, a goat, and a cat. And we have three settlers, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Ooh. So I think... Yeah, there's a random seed that you can generate... And I really, I really like mountains. Like, mountains are my thing. Hillside, valley, or mountain. Oof. Plentiful limestone, gold, iron, and silver. Lesser amounts of fertile soil, clay, vegetation. Uneven terrain, suitable for good. Defensive positions, a fair amount of limestone and clay. Moderate amount of fertile soil and vegetation. Um, we'll, 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 let's not, let's not go valley. Because valley is just kind of, and we'll go hillside. Even though I'm a, I'm a mountain man, at heart, love, love our freaking heraldry. Look at that. It's Christmas time. It's got two cross swords and a skull with a crown. Perfecto. Uh, small map size. Uh, I feel, I feel like I want to go up to medium. You know, just I feel like I'm a medium guy. So here are our group skills. The one star equals like a little bit of passion, and then two is like super passion. This is just like RimWorld. If you don't know what RimWorld is, I did play RimWorld twice. Uh, I died both times, but if you want to go back and look at those videos, uh, knock yourself out. But basically, you have individual skills for each person. And what this is trying to show you is if you were to add all three of these people together, what would you get? And for animal handling, we have somebody who has 12. For botany, we have someone who's at 12. For carpentry, even this, even though this guy is at zero with his carpentry, we do have somebody who's at 24, which is just, it's halfway to the end, which is, which is great. Um, construction, we don't really have anybody who's super great at it, but we do have, this dude has a burning passion for it, which means he's going to get more experience the more that he does it, right? So that's pretty cool stuff. Uh, culinary of five, uh, that's not really good because that's, that's, that's going to be like cooking our meals. And if someone makes a meal bad, they could die of, um, dysentery. No, they, they get sick and they throw up. Intellectual, 14 is not bad. Marksman, nine, but we do have some of the burning passion for it. Medicine, an eight. This dude has a burning passion for it, but he has no idea how to do it. Melee of seven. Mining 24, smithing a 25. Man, I, I, we just can't pass that up. Beachcraft of only six, but there's somebody out there wants to, to like really lay into it. I'm good. 
I'm good with this. I'm, I'm happy for everybody here. We got Stanley, Milton, and Cuthbert. Look, it's names I can read. It's not crazy names. Hallelujah. My goodness. Stanley, Milton, and Cuthbert. I'm 46, 30, and 24. What is this? Hold on here. What are you? The only way to preserve food is to eat it quickly. At least that's what Stanley thinks. Consumption duration is negative five. Oh, he just eats fast. He's a dullard. He is a dullard. Dude can mine and smith, though. And he's robust. Oh, no. This dude is a drunkard. He is a ruthless, sunseeker, old hardy. Interesting. Okay. Let's go. And okay, so this is our hel heraldry. These are our settlers. Standard, normal, news, life. All right. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> oh, new game. You know what I mean? It's a new game. I don't. I'm not pissed at anything yet. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my poor computer. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. I switched my uh, BIOS profile to an XMP because there's a dude on Reddit who is like, dude, if you're not running XMP on your BIOS, you're not using your RAM. So I switched that over, and now my computer is super loud. And I guess, I guess things are 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 better. I don't, I couldn't I couldn't tell you. The plague has ravaged the British Isles, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Untold millions went to an early grave, and those left behind were plunged into poverty. Okay, let's take, talk about this for a second because this is this is something. Um, you can you can pause this and read it if you want. I'm I'm going to be out though. Um, Okay, pause. So, oh, uh, please bear in mind that the game is under heavy development. That means, oh yes, right, this is a, a, a early access. Okay, so don't think that anything you see here is permanent. Uh, uh, yep, I think I know that. There's the levels I was talking about. Man, I cannot wait to do that. That's gonna be so great. So great. And then we can like build crypts. Like we could actually build a real church. And then build a crypt underneath the church, and we can bury people down there. Like on RimWorld, you're just you're burying them everywhere. You're supposed to like cremate them, but I never really dig that. I always bury them. Um, that's really cool. We can actually do that. And then game speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm good. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to unforbid all this stuff. Uh, our people need to have access to it, so might as well unforbid it. I assume there's going to be a way to make a stockpile, and we'll need to figure out a nice place to put that stockpile. Do things spoil here? Pile decomposes in 10 days, decaying because of temperature and ground type. Yeah, so if we were to, to build something, if we were to build like a, like a shed and put the cabbage in there, or a root cellar. Ah, oh, we could build a root cellar. That's so cool, man. We can actually build a root cellar. I can't wait to do that. What we got over here? We got berries over here. Then berries we can eat. Oh yeah, let's go back to the thing I was talking about. Are we paused? We are. Are we? Yeah. Um. So the black, the black plague or the black death, uh, you know, it wiped out a lot of people in England, and before then. This is my understanding. Before then, if you were a beggar or a pauper or or um, a petitioner, it wasn't that big a deal. People were like, yeah, I get it. You can't work because your leg is bad or you can't work because you're just not motivated. Like, I get that. I'll be more than happy to help you. But after the Black Death came through, there were so many opportunities for work because so many people had gone that really the world stopped viewing. Oh, we got some free sticks. The world really stopped viewing people who were, um, is that a rat carcass? 
interesting. Um, they stopped they stopped viewing people like that, and it came to this idea that like, hey, if you're not working, you're a piece of trash. Like, there's tons of work. You can go out there and you can find work. I know you can. Stop being a lazy bum and go go get to work. Like that was a paradigm shift in like how we treated uh, the two, uh, like like people. Like they no longer were viewed. It's just being down on their luck. They were being viewed as lazy. And that's something that just never really... It never, it never changed. Like, we're still in that mindset. A pile of bones? I don't know if we're going to need that. Oh, look, there's a ramp down. Is there another one over here? Yeah, there's a ramp down. I really want to... I really want to... Uh... <laughs> there's a pile of dirt. I really want to build a root cellar. I wonder if a root cellar is a thing in this game. If so, I wonder if this is one... Like, if I were to dig into this, I'm pretty sure that it would just dig like a maze on the bottom, right? Like, I need to go two levels down. I need to go two levels down if I want to make the root cellar. And, like, this right here looks like a really nice place to build because we're up on a little... If you if you look like there's a there's a deal right like we're we're elevated here and that that kind of goes all the way well not really all the way around see if I was on if I was on mountain I would just go to the highest oh that's kind of neat see that like we could build around the top and then we could put stuff in the middle. And then, like, to get in and out, you wouldn't even... I mean, you could climb up to the top, and you could come up to the walls up here, but, like, to get in and out, you would just go through the ground on the bottom. And, like, we would live in this area. That's kind of neat. That's... Oh! It's also super-duper neat to build on, like, nice, super-flat land. You know what I mean? Just super flat. Just build like a nice humongous village right here. We don't want to build on the ground. I like this. I like how there's like a break here. that goes like separates the side of the map. I really do like that. I'm thinking we build over here, like in a corner. Oh, no, no, no. It, it, see, there's a... Uh, it's not nice and flat. It's not symmetric. It, 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 uh, maybe it will be over here then. Because there's no real, like, mountain side over here. Like, this is as high as it gets. And, like, of course, we would incorporate this area and this area into our building. I think we'll do that. I think we'll start building just a rudimentary wall, like a rudimentary building here. All right, so that's base. There's a wooden wall, there's a wooden floor, there's a wooden door, there's a wooden window, and a wooden stair that's straight, and then a thatched roof. How far away is that from where we embarked? Not that far away. Not that close either, but not that far away. And we can't build on the very edge over there, unfortunately. So maybe we just start off by, 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 by claiming this area and we just build up here, right? Uh, this takes five wood. We started with 400. Uh, one, two, three. We'll get a window in there just so we can see out. Another one of these, one of those, one of those. Give me another wood so we can see out another one of these then perhaps yeah we'll start going right across and then we have a ramp up here we have a ramp up there I this one I did you know what it was good that I missed that one because I probably should have made it into a what I should have made it into oh variant Clay wall or a wooden wall? Interesting. I just want to remove. Cancel. Great. Base again. Wooden wall with a deal there. Probably should have a door back there, but I guess it'll be okay for right now. 
And then what do I want to do? Do I want to put a door just right there? I guess I cannot. I can't. Yeah, it's going to have to do like this. And then we'll put a wooden window there. And then maybe a door right next to the wooden window. Back to doing this. out. And by see out, I mean um, shoot people with a bow if I need to. Uh, R. U and E to rotate. Perfect. Thank you. And then we'll just bring this straight across here. Put another little door right there. And then another deal right there. And then one, two walls like that. Perfect. A thatched roof uses a lot of hay. Uh, a roof needs two or more points to rest upon in order to be placed. Let's see. So I think I messed up because. That. How does one place a roof then? Put a wooden floor down. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna like this game, probably relaxing for right now. To place building, drag and place a row. You would need to rotate to dismiss. Quicker matched. Um is that the second floor? Uh, what does that say? Cannot place it from that far? Okay. Got it. And then in the middle of this, I'm going to need... Can I just... Can I go down a level by scrolling? I guess I cannot. There it is. So I need to put a, a pillar in the middle, but I guess I'll do this. Uh, look at that. I I put a, I put a window right there. So I'm gonna take the window out. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take that out. I go back here. I'm gonna put in a wooden wall and. Uh, excuse me, right there in the middle. Then I'm going to go do a window right there. I'm gonna, so I'm going to have two rooms, right? And the rooms are going to have windows in them. So, boom, and boom. That look good. Two rooms, windows in them, and then a wooden door into each of those. Okay, and now I'm going to go back up a level. I should be able. Oh no. Why are those poking out of the top like that? Why are you... Uh, why do I have things poking out of the top? What does this say? Change the structure's appearance. Rotate the shape. Rotate the shape. Oh, you can you can make the logs look different. Interesting. No, I, I I'm. Ooh. Interesting. What are these things here that have cropped up over the top? They cannot be clicked on.
That's a little disconcerting, but uh, there we go. And there we go. And then I guess you put the roof on like that. Those things are getting in the way. There we go. There's our thatched roof with, uh, I guess when they build it, we'll, we'll look at that and see what that is. Um, okay. So now we have our first little house built. We're we'll probably need a lot more, um, plenty, a lot more, uh, wood for that. But we'll put that there and then we'll put our butchering table. I'll put it right there. Why not? Um, a table. That's a, what is that? A small wooden table? You go right there. That's not bad. Definitely can go over here. What about this one? What about a medium sized wooden table? Put it there. That looks a little bit in the way. That looks a little better. I think we're going to have to settle for just a small wooden one up against the door there. And then a stool. One and two. I think I think a stool out here for this would be good too. Which way do you... Which way did I build that? I'll do it like that so I can just see where the stool should go. Boop. All right. Leisure activity. A shrine in the woods. An oak shrine. A backgammon table. All that can be made out of wood. That's that's great. An armark grave. A pyre. Wicker fence. A merchant stall. A wicker gate. Pen marker. Trough. Sign. A merlin. A wooden merlin. Or a stick trap zone default stockpile um well geez i guess it should be in there right warfare then a dumping stockpile we just put it right out here somewhere i was actually looking for a growing chop wood cut plants deconstruct harvest mine hunt cancel or allow where is where would i where would i grow food where are my farmers at here interesting interesting yep and hunt and butcher wild animals a chance to retaliate the animal right, domesticate the animal and have pets. That's cool. Uh huh. Let's go ahead and let's order, even though we have ordered a ton of stuff to get done. Let's go and order a small fence to be built. Okay, that sucked. There you go, turn that way. Lovely. Rotate. Rotate, 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 and rotate, and then over here, little gate, gate, and then fence, and then a sign, I guess, no, no, no pin marker, excuse me, and then we'll put the, we'll put the, um, the goats in there. All right. Let's, uh, oh, and then chop wood. We're going to need a lot more wood. So you guys go ahead and start chopping that. Go ahead and do that. Put it on three. And just see how they go. See what they do here. Getting resources for construction. It looks like they went and got some sticks. Ooh. My goodness. We failed this construction. That's something that happens in, in RimWorld a lot, is that you just see people like they they uh they'll fail at doing something just because they're not very good at it. Look at that. 
This guy's going crazy. Look at all that experience he's getting. He loves, loves constructing. Like his favorite thing. His favorite thing. Grabbing some more sticks, grabbing some more wood. Oh, the pin is going up. The pin sign is going up. Here we go. This is where we're going to make our home. Cuthbert is doing it. He is making that gate done. Now we go over here and we can say that we want deer in here, boar, there's the goats. We love it. Deconstruct, copy, relocate, remove. Got hit points. So a ton, like, 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 all we gotta do is move our goats. Move our goats into here. Is that a, is that a wolf? That is a wolf. It's not really good. I wonder how we tell our people to put the put the sheep in the pen. How would you tell someone to put the sheep in the pen? I need to have a trough in here too, BT Dub. Probably gonna need to feed them at one. Hey, look at this. They're building the walls. So good. Okay if you fail the construction. Okay, it's okay, not a big deal. You learn it from your mistakes. Look at that. Look at that unassailable fortress. Can you imagine rolling up to this place like, man, we're going to raid this place. Be like, oh, they put their house on top of a hill. Like, that's... That's... You can't... You, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Run away and, and maybe, maybe run away with your life. You know what I mean? Uh, which reminds me, as soon as these jokers get done building their house, we're probably going to have to, um... Yeah, 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 I got it. This is, it's RimWorld, brother. It's Rim, I know, it produces that, and, and you got to have a dead animal. We got to go get these guys to pick up that spear and the, the buckler and the, the halberd and all that stuff. All right, guys. And then, and then we're going to let them go and like just carry all that stuff over there to the stockpile because that needs to be taken care of. How do you get them? How do you get the, the, look, the goat. We're saying it's okay to put the goat in here. What do we have to do? Place this marker in an enclosure and click it to assign which animals belong there. I've done so. I've done so. Maybe if I click on one of the boys. Who's got animal herding? Animal handling of three, animal handling of 12. I can right click on this, prioritize slaughtering it, training it, or releasing it. I don't want to do any of that. I want to get it into the, to the deal here. Prioritize deconstructing pin marker. No. I just wanted you to move the goat. Can I, can I command the goat? I cannot command the goat. Well. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you eating? He is. The bird is it's a pheasant. He is eating. And the boys are coming back. Nice. It's like they're going to build the trough and they're going to build the uh, the campfire. Oh, wait. Nope. Never mind. I thought that those were on the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? What? What happened? You're slightly hungry? Well, go get, uh, go get uh, something to eat, man. You got 30, you got 30 pre-packaged meals over there. You got some biscuits. Oh, look, it's going to take a second to put the, the window up. Boom. Boom. Man, the, the regular wall, he can just put up with no problem. Putting in that wooden floor, too. Oh, so good. Boom. Door up. So good. You guys bring a bunch of stuff back? Nope. Like they're just doing some construction. Oh, there we go. They got some things. Got a stool. Got the stool. Nice. That's going to be a nice stool. Be able to sit on that. Relax. After a hard day's work. You think it's funny, man. Like you go to a, a, a camp or something. Or, or you go into a construction site. And there's no place to sit down. 
This is you all. Construction failed. That's okay. That's okay. Just try again. Oh, there we go. We got this. Oh, the thatched roof is going up. So nice. I didn't think I'd see that today. I really didn't think I'd see some of the thatched roof going up, but there it is. I guess, I guess they are treating that as like another, a wall here. I don't, I don't need that wall up here. I really do not. I guess, I guess I clicked it when I was her. Oh, now it's mad. Now it's saying, como se dice. Oh, what, 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 what? Whoa, whoa, what, 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 what? Why are we all mad? What, what are we mad about? What? What? Those those logs weren't needed for nothing. Oh, I think they're just overreacting. I think everything's okay. Oh, look, look, look. There he goes. There he goes. Put that animal in there. There you go. Put him in there. Good. Now you guys are going to get eaten by a wolf because the wolf can't get in. You see how that happens? See how that happens, guys? Cutting down that tree. Ooh, what, what do we got there? A sapling? A sapling? We can replant that? Job. Okay, got it. Yep. So what are, we, what are we seeing up here? Like right now, everything is the same level. And how it does is it starts from left and it goes to right. So if we made that a two and we made this a two, he would check and he would make sure that someone didn't didn't need to get tended to first then he would skip all of this and he would look and he would see if there's any cooking to be done if there was cooking to be done he would do it even though there might be hunting that needs to be done because it's a higher number it's a higher priority right so i always um we're going to put this guy on number one because we want him to be the best doctor because he has a passion for it we're going to put this guy on number two convalescence convalesces we're gonna put that up to like one we want them to take it easy and we want them to seek medical attention when they get hurt this guy we want him to do a lot of the construction because he has like a, a passion for it same thing with that guy we want him to do a lot of hunting because he has a passion for it this guy we don't really want him to grow or do any of that stuff because he's really really bad at it mining though he's gonna be our guy tailoring he's gonna be our guy Actually, this chump too. That up to a two. Okay, I'm happy with that right now. And then the schedule. Uh, we're going to make them work from, let's say, eight in the morning till about, what is that? One, two, three, four. About eight to four. Not that bad. Uh, eight to five. And then they can do leisure. Or, you know, we'll force them to do something leisurely there. And then they can do anything they want during that time. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do whatever. Okay, and then. What is this? Manage? Okay, what are they going to do with melee? Oh, okay, cool. Um, Let's go back and look here. Who is our guy for hunting? Cuthbert is our hunter, so Cuthbert is going to get a ranged weapon. And then you... You get melee one-handed, melee one-handed. Uh, all apparel, armor. We're going to let... Who's our, who's our fighter? Who's like a really good fighter? Who is a... Let me get a look at their other skills melee of zero melee of one melee of seven so Stanley is going to be our we are guy he can do all armor uh, if we have a shield we'll let him have a shield too yeah and then our animals we've already touched on our animals for just a second I really need to learn how to start growing things like, I really need to know how to start planting and growing. Ooh, 
really need to know how to start planting and growing stuff. Eighty wood, eighty wood, seventy five wood. We're gonna we're gonna get that research table down. We put it in the house. I think we can. I think we can put it right up against the window there. Ooh. All right. We'll let it go again. We're getting a lot of we're we're chopping down a lot of wood. I wouldn't worry about. When it says like you're low on wood, what happened, Stanley? What? You're, you're you're well rested. You're in a neutral mood. You're not hungry. You're drinking some some ale. We do need a shrine though. Like they are going to get mad if if we don't give them a, sh a shrine. Put a shrine right there as we go up. I love that. Works out well. Produces a meal and produces animal feed. So let's do until we have 10. And then meals, let's do it until we have 10. Construction failed. Cuthbert, come on, buddy. He didn't He didn't build the trough, so now he's going to go over here and he's going to build a, a chair. He did it. He built the chair. Good job. Is that sticks? Something on the, is on the ground over there. I don't know what it is. Cuthbert's pissed. They're all getting pissed about something. I don't know what it is. Alright, Stanley's going to try to build the trough. Ah! Stanley screwed up the trough too. Milton, he's just going. He's going. It's like, like 3 o'clock in the morning. He's still cutting down stuff. There you guys are all asleep on the floor in here. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Oh, God. He fell asleep right as he got in. Wow. Wow. All right. Now, what we need to do is we need to stop giving them things to build. So when they wake up tomorrow, we're not going to... I'm going to try not to give them anything to build. I'm going to try to let them focus on carrying all their stuff and, and putting it up over here. Like, that's going to be important that we move it and get everything set up to where it needs to be. They only have a couple of things left to build. I think there's a window in there they need to build. There's a piece of floor in here. Maybe a wall over here that needs to get done. Like, there's not that much stuff. And they're they're pissed because they, they had to sleep on the floor. But there's some things in here I just don't really see. Like, like a... Like a oh, a hay sleeping spot. Crap. Un, du, trois. There we go. Yay! The construction is scale up to level 10. And the trough is there. Hooray! I think the field should generate some food, though, right? Like, there should just be some food laying around that the animals can just eat in there, right? So... Not quite sure what the floor stuff is. Like a problem with the floor or something? I don't know. There we go. Three hay sleeping spots. So tonight they're not going to be sleeping on the floor. And now we're just gonna we're gonna just chill for a little bit. And we're gonna let them we're gonna let them drag all their stuff all the way over here. Over and over and over again. What is that? What is it? Not enough resources to produce that. Okay. okay. He brought something over. Maybe he's like cutting up cabbage or something that, that he brought from the other place over there. The stockpile. He's going to make some fodder. And then hopefully we'll move that fodder in there and feed the animals. Home cooked meal. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We actually made a fodder. We put it in there and one of the animals is actually eating. The other one's going to go there. Oh my goodness. We actually got more than one out of that. We got like 10. That animal is... Animals are not hungry. The animals are fed. Thank you very much. 
the animals are not hungry. Now, what would you drop in the floor of here? A, a spear? Is that two-handed? That's two-handed. There's our guy here. Stanley, you gotta, you gotta pick up that thing. There's the buckler. There's the longbow. I think we could not have asked for a better start. Could not have asked for a better start. Need to chop down a couple of more trees. We need a little bit more, um... Need a little bit more, uh... More resources. But we're doing good. We have a lot of stuff that needs to be moved over. He's eating. Yeah, having a little snack there. He's happy. Cuthbert's also going to have his snack, too. Alright, you guys are doing great. Oh, Chronicle, it's a book. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I guess that's how research is going to work. We're going to let them, we're going to let them move all that stuff over. We're going to let them move all that stuff over. <laughs> oh, he killed a pheasant. Someone killed a pheasant. Do raw meat. Do it forever. If you have the if you have the opportunity to raw meat, do it forever. Oh, maybe the cat killed it. Research table missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just everybody calm down. We gotta move everything over. We gotta make we gotta move everything over, make it look good. Just brought the beer over. All that's really left is some cabbage seed and some mechanical components. Is that hay? It's called tall grass. That's wild barley. Harvest wild barley, please and thank you. Hopefully, hopefully. Get some herbs as well. Why not? Hopefully we get some seeds out of that wild barley. Oh, that'd be that'd be sick. Some mushed rooms. Dude's cutting up that pheasant right now. Now there's a steak laying on the ground. Good job. Where are you going to go now, Stanley? Have having a field day. I guess because we harvested something. Where are you going, Stanley? I'm going across the entire map to find a dead rat. He is. He's going across the entire map to find a dead rat. Something just decomposed in the stockpile. Some kind of carcass or something. I didn't pay attention. Okay. More wood. More wood. Build more things. I think we have brought everything over that we were supposed to bring over. For the mechanical components. Uh, Stanley, what are you doing? Cuthbert, what are you doing? You're going to start cutting. That's what you thought you were going to do, but you're actually going to go ahead and haul that to the stockpile. That's what you're going to do. My man, Milton. Oh, Stanley, you're not going to be cutting either. You're actually going to be hauling that to the stockpile. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? Crazy guys. You crazy guys. He's going to go up. Drop that in there. Bingo, bango, bongo. Look at that. I guess that means you don't have enough. Oh, okay. So the, the, the exclamation point angry thing. She says you don't have enough in your resources to build that. Oh, here we go. They're going to build our shrine and they're going to have something to go and do with their their time. So nice. So nice. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Nice. 
Look at the planks on the ground. So good. Building the table. It'd be really nice if you'd close off that in there with that window, but I guess we're getting there. Oh, there's sticks right there. I'll unforbid those sticks. Where are you going? I'm going to go get another dead animal. What is it, buddy? Is it another dead animal? Is it a pigeon? I'm dying to know. A pheasant. A pheasant died, and he went all the way over there to pick it up. Very good, very good. Very good. Where are you going? Oh, the seeds. Did we get? We did. We got barley seeds. Nice. And actually, and some herbs. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, the guys are asleep. Tomorrow morning, though, when they wake up, like one of the first things I want them to do is go grab the herb seeds. But yeah, I can't believe we, we looked out and got barley. That's awesome. That's awesome. What did he go and throw in there? Did he use those seeds? I think he did. I think he threw the seeds in here, which he should not have done. Hmm. Look at that. They should be a lot happier because they're actually sleeping on mattresses. <laughs> like the three little pigs. Okie dokie. Uh, some of them were angry and some of them were happy. Oh, look, 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 he's eating his breakfast, sitting at the table. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Nice. Lovely. And then you, my man, come haul those herbs for me, please, and thank you. When we get the research unlocked, hopefully one of the researches is going to be, like, basic farm. Basic growing plot oh a zone yeah yeah default stockpile dumping stockpile warfare yeah yeah alright everybody's looking good everybody's looking good building a bunch of stuff Is pretty much done. Let's have a look at this. What is this? It turns off the roof. Okay. All right. so much wood would you believe how much wood we need okay Milton is cooking up something here that's people meat good job Milton you know sit and eat some of his people not people meat he's not made it out of people he's just cooked for people can you do me a favor and can you move that to the stockpile that'd be great 
Now go in there and you can sit down and eat something. There we go. And look at this. Hey, look at this. It's not raining inside the house. Well, it is. It's raining a little bit. But now we have the research bench. So now... Agriculture. Dang it. It doesn't say agriculture. That says architecture. Terraforming. What does that say? Oh, crap. Yeah, we need that. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. That's what I want. Oh, oh, oh. Did I use... Yay, I, I used my, 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 my brain. There we go, I used it to make... Now I can, now I can grow. What did I do here? A wooden beam. Beams of solid wood have been held up on the floors and ceilings of England for centuries. Oh, so I guess that's how... I don't know. Cabbage field. Cabbage field. A field made of cabbage. Oh, 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 barley field. A field made of bark. An herb field. Yeah, 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 that's fine. A birch tree. Uh, whatever tree. And a maple tree. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So now we have our our deal set up and the house is I mean it's raining in the house but it shouldn't be raining in the house they just need to oh geez I don't know what do you do um does tall grass make hay scythe all that down and see if that see if that gives you uh hay see they're they're building the roof they're building the roof. We're going to send them out there to scythe down that stuff and see if they get hay out of it. Because they're going to need hay to, to build the roof anyway. Construction still love construction of level 10. So we have two people now who have level 10 construction. Botany skill level one. Are they guys, are you guys planting the? Yeah, look at that. They're planting the the cabbage seeds, which is great because it's spring and it's going to need to get done before the winter, just so they can grow and we can they can be harvested, have something to sustain ourselves. Look at that. I wonder how you get. I wonder how you get more people. I wonder if there's like immigrants that show up. Door Fortress does a good job of giving you like migrant waves. Be like 15 people oh not 15 maybe like eight people at a time i think we have 25 one two three four five one two three four five yes so 25 yeah so we should be that should be completely full by the time they're done what are you guys gonna do Someone's doing some gardening. Cuthbert is doing some gardening. Just like Cuthbert to do some gardening. Botany level 7. Good. Planting the rest of those seeds. I do like in... Um, oh, there you go. I, was gonna say, I do like in some other games. Actually, they'll show you like what you have in your stockpile. So it tells us. That's good. Available zero allocated of twenty five. Interesting. Uh, uh, wooden weapons. Guess we have to have more of that to use it. Room created a shared bedroom. Oh, I guess because they 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 um they hammered it in and stuff. Yeah, good, good. I guess we didn't even need to have the thatched deal. Like, we can just have the, the floor like that. Oh, 
so much wood. Oh, what are you doing? You're planting some of the saplings that were growing or that we got off the ground? Nice, guys. Good job. What about the herbs? We have herbs. And then the barley. I saw him throw that barley seed in there, man. I saw him do it. So I think that barley seed is gone. Oh. Plant those trees back just so we can get them. I'm sure they naturally reproduce, but it's also good to just have like an orchard full of them. You know, it looks good too. It looks good. And let's look. The whole back is done. That's done. The side is done with a door. The front is done with the door. That's a nice little house. That is a nice little house. They have a place where they can go to. This little shrine they can worship at. They can get their recreation up so they're not pissed all the time. Did you guys get out there and harvest? Milton's doing it. Let's see, what do you get when you harvest this, Milton? Is that hay? That is hay. Okay, cool. So now we know where hay is. Like now we know where we can get hay. That's great. Reap what you sow too. Interesting. And now they're actually sleeping in a bedroom, so they should get like a super duper good bonus for that. And of course, I need to put in some this little auto save. Thank you very much. Feel right there, just for the the lulls. And now that I know I'm going to have tons of resources to do this, I'll put in the thatch there. And I suppose it only makes sense to put the thatch in there as well. But that doesn't look doesn't look right. Doesn't go doesn't go out the way it should. So the roof isn't going to line up there a little bit. It'll look a little weird, but that's okay. And it's going to look a little weird, but that's okay. And we're coming up on an hour, so I guess. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to our three, uh, our three guys here. Our food reserve and our stockpile is low. Animal feed is good. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Since we have 19 out of 10, we should be okay. Be okay. Construction fail. Come on, Stanley. Oh wow, that just goes up. That's awesome. Well, they need they need to hop it all the way over here and cut that and then bring it all the way back. That's the problem there. And of course it looks like we're out of wood again. Tons of sticks, just not wood, wood, wood. What are you gonna go and what are you doing? Are you milking it? He is, he's milking it. We just got goat's milk. That's great. And he's going to go in there and drink it. He's just going to go drink that goat's milk. And he's happy. He's happy. Well, that's awesome. Good job, bud. Good job, bud. We're going to have one of our orchards done here in a second. It'd be great if that was like apples or something. I'd be more happy with them putting their time and effort into growing apples and just putting in regular things that are just going to give us wood back one day. But, you know, whatever. This gets our botany skill up too, so... Okay with it. And now we actually have a little bit of, uh... What is that? Coal? Nice. Now we have a little bit of wood left over. We have tons of hay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you folks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, man. I, I got to wait now. I'm just making it even an hour. Let's see if I can do it.